so what we are going to see now is how to um, add um, authentication to an existing web service that we have developed in using PHP and we were going to we are going to use um, SO, SOAP header um, to uh, provide the authentication mechanism okay so let's first start with um, watching the, the web service that we already had which must be working so let's try it so the first thing we are going to do is uh, start the web server we are going to use the built-in web server because for testing purposes it's going to be more than enough all right so the, the web server is running now let's go and test the the client okay so it says hello mauro so let's see what what is actually doing so this is simply creating a client to use um, the server that is located at this URL. In this line, we are asking the web server to provide the WSDL, which stands for the web service definition. And uh, once we got that, we are calling uh, a method called say hello with the parameter that is uh, provided to us from the command line interface. Okay. Now let's have a look at the server and uh, it's also a very very simple server which uh, as you can see here is the the actual service class which uh, takes a parameter a string parameter which is the name and returns another string which is simply a um, salutation uh, for the for the user for the name that is provided um, this uh, syntax is possible because I am using uh, PHP version 7.2 but uh, it doesn't really make much of a difference if you don't have that uh, version available um, so now here um, this uh, we are creating the SOAP server which we are providing a WSDL.xml file that we are going to be looking at uh, shortly and um, here we are saying this is the class to actually uh, provide the service which is the class we defined earlier and now we are trying to handle every request that comes our way all right so let's have a look at the wsdl file and it's uh, very simple this should be here so okay um so we got the definition we have the input parameters which are a string we have the output parameters which is also a string then we have the definition of the operation which is say hello and um, well, that's not much more to it for the moment so now let's let's say we need to uh, restrict the um, availability of this web service so before we get into the technical details let's um, take a moment to discuss why would we want to do this and the reason is, um, as, as it is right now, every, everyone with an internet connection and with the link or the URL for our web service can make use of it. And while this is perfectly fine for such a simple web service as a say hello um, web service, it's definitely not the case when you need to do something more, um, well, uh, critical or secure, like uh, payment processing or some other way of um, authentication or something I mean uh, like a much more important uh, operation so in order to do that you want to make sure that the, the user is who he claims to be and there are several methods to accomplish that you could use simple HTTP authentication which can work just fine um, but in some context it's just uh, not enough when you need some more information you, you want to use uh, a much more nuanced uh, mechanism and that's what we are going to do now what we are going to do is provide the authentication via SOAP headers okay so the first thing we want to do is uh, create a new WSDL file or you know uh, modify the one we already have what I did is I created a, a new one in order for us to be able to look at the differences between those so first thing you can see is I created a new element uh, type um, which is for storing the, the credentials 
So I'm, I'm creating a sequence which contains a string, the username, and another string, the password. Um, here's uh, the message that uses this, um, this com new complex type. And uh, the most important thing is here, you can see that in the definition of the operation, let's go to the original one, the definition of the operation was fairly simple. The input was simply a body. Um, and now we have another thing that we want to use is the header, which should contain um, the, the user credentials. Okay, good. So now what we want to do is, um, well, we can do it either way, but let, let's start with the, with the server. What we need to do is provide a method for checking this authentication. So I'm going to cheat a little bit here because I already have it done, but I'm going to paste it from here and then I'll explain it. Okay, so what we have here is um, a new method called user credentials. And this is very important to, to notice. This, um, this name is not an arbitrary thing that I came up with. It's the exact same name of the element that we are creating, okay? And this has to be this way. Actually, it has to be like this because of the, 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 the header is going to be connected with this method automatically, but that can only happen if the, the name of the method matches the name of the header we are using okay so let's uh, leave this for a second but uh, what we are saying is if the parameters contained within this header match the values i want then they are fine actually what i'm doing is the other way around is if they are not if they don't match then i will issue an authentication failed error okay so the other thing we need to do is provide this um, authentication information before we make the call to the server. And again, I'm going to use my little cheat here. Okay, so now what we are doing is uh, making an, another call before we actually call the method, say hello, in which we are setting the headers, the SOAP headers. And in order to do that, we have a, a, a class that is SOAP header. So we are creating a new object of that class. We are providing a namespace. This is not really important. This is <laughs> definitely important. The name of the header that, again, needs to match the one that we are using here in the WSDL file. And then eventually we are providing the, the credentials. So. Let's see, um, I probably should do this. So, let me see if this works. Okay. So now, now that we have the server running, let's simply try it. Okay, so it says authentication failed. So I want to see what would happen here. So let's make a dump of the parameters. Let's try it again. And okay. So, all oh, right, I see. Okay, so the, the structure is a little more, more complex than I expected, but we can still make it work if we change this into item sub zero value and There's item so one that should do it, and there we go. There we have the hello Mauro, which was the the one that I expected. And if I was to change this, for instance, to this, we will see that the authentication has failed. 
So this is how it works.